find these heating pads that I need for my cramps because they hurt so bad. I just got home from Target and I'm like, oh, let me do a little Target haul. I didn't get anything extravagant, but who doesn't love Target hauls? Or just hauls in general. I just love hauls. First, I got pads. Um, I got the size 3 because, you know, I got a juicy fat, you know, so... Yeah, and the number three, or like the third one, is always like sold out. I can never find them, so finally. And then I got some socks, some like white, like ankle socks, like medium length ankle socks, I believe. Let me see. <laughs> My allergies are killing me like this. Like, this is perfect to like wear with sneakers, scrunch them up, loafers, whatever cute got those I needed some then I got some pills I'm trying not to take medication for like any pain or flu type you know symptoms or whatever but I have such such low tolerance for like cramps like my pain is absolutely horrible like I, I, I can't handle it the slightest little feeling I start to feel I'm like such a baby I will literally cry and complain about it and I'll start walking around my living room like I'm a fucking like crazy person I just walk back and forth just like with pain so yeah um raspberry tea does help but I don't have time today I just have been running around doing stuff and yeah, so, and it's only 11 in the morning. So I got these, I'm gonna put them in my bag, cause, and then I saw these earrings. I needed some like medium hoops and they have like the medium, like, girl, they have large, medium, and small. I have these on, they're a little miniature chunky ones, but I kinda wanna put on the large ones. They're not like super large. But let's put them on. Let's switch them out. Um, I was actually going to Target because I saw these heating pads on TikTok for like cramps and stuff. So like you could just stick them on and wear them, but they didn't have them. So that's what I was originally there for. And then I just rem I remembered I needed pads and socks. So yeah. Ow. Gr Stupida. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Yeah. Cute, right? Like, perfect size, not too much, you know. And they're like the right amount of skinny. They're just a perfect everyday hoop. Okay. But yeah.
crying because it's just life is overwhelming sometimes and you sometimes you just need to let it out you know you just need to let it out and yeah yeah you just cry i know you need to cry i know that it's been adding up it's been adding up it has that's how it feels for me right now it's been adding up as far as like emotional stuff <laughs> emotional and mental stuff it's been adding up so um we're gonna let it out right we're gonna let our emotions be we're gonna cry it out we're gonna let our feelings be for the moment right and then we are going to um you know just get up and do what we gotta do do what we got to do whatever it is that you have to do do it like do what you gotta do it is what it is this is life it's life and it gets better <laughs> it gets better and just have full trust in yourself and have full belief in yourself and faith in yourself and everything's gonna work out like really it is because you said it it will you said it right you said it you said it's gonna work out so it's gonna work out and do, do, do. yeah um god has my back god has your back the universe whoever like has your back we we got our backs i got my own back you got your back i got your back you got my back <laughs> yeah this is one it's just you know, I'm feeling a lot of emotions and I feel very overwhelmed right now, like extremely overwhelmed. I feel like a lot of things are just piling up and it's just like, I know it's for the greater good, you know what I'm saying? Like I know that certain things in life happen for a reason and like obviously but um it's just in the moment it it's it's it gets difficult you know and when you're constantly put in the face of like challenges or emotional distress whatever you're going through like in those moments either you rage and make impulsive decisions and just let your emotions run wild or like me I have learned a lot because I've had a lot of moments in my life where it just hit rock bottom or I was just going through a lot and I did a lot of impulsive like shit and just let my emotions control me and did a lot of things that were not really didn't end well for me or weren't really healthy coping mechanisms so I'm in this stage right now where I I'm going through something again. <laughs> God has given me the opportunity to go through a lot of stuff again. And really just sit here and kind of let my feelings just like process. Like letting myself process all my emotions and letting myself feel everything that I need to feel. But not act impulsively on them and do things that are just going to not work out at the end for me you know what i'm saying just kind of be present and feel everything and then get up and be like okay i got this i got this like kind of remind that like having offer honestly what really helps me the most is having these conversations right now like when i'm not recording myself like if i wasn't recording myself right now doing this but i just felt the need to pick up the camera so i just followed my intuition I would be doing this like I would be sitting here like talking out loud to myself and kind of reassuring myself that everything's gonna be okay and kind of just being there for me you know and um, like reassuring myself that I'm good that everything happens for a reason and that you know everything's gonna work out fine you know and to make the steps that I need to make, whether they're scary or 
out of my comfort zone that I need to do to get to where I need to be, you know? And yeah. 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 I never thought. I have a lot of crying videos for myself. But I never thought that I would actually post one, like, of me crying. Well, I'm not really crying right now, but I was crying. And, yeah. I just feel like it's important to be vulnerable sometimes. And, like, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are feeling overwhelmed with their life or overwhelmed with making a lot of decisions or just overwhelmed with so many things in their life and they probably need this right now where they're just kind of like, I need to let it go and fucking cry. Just fucking cry, dude. I don't care if you're a man, woman, dog, whatever you are, just fucking cry. And really have like a nice pep talk. Or listen to some affirmations on YouTube that'll pump you up like, okay, 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 uh, yeah. Ugh, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, let me put this a little bit more down. Is that better? Yeah. So I have another little haul of like stuff that I ordered. There's nothing too big. But I got this Vita Silina. It's meant for like um, cuts and stuff like that or like burns. But I saw this girl on TikTok put it all over her face and she says she sleeps with it. And her skin has never been better. So we're going to try it. And then I got this um, face wash. It's a Korean face wash. It's an egg tightening cleansing foam. I... I've been using this for a very long time. I actually haven't bought it in like a couple of months because it's been out of stock. So I finally got my hands on it. But I love that face wash. It's a really good face wash. And then on I got this cute little top. It's a cute little top, like summery top. It's cute. Just a cute little white summer top. Yep. Then I got then I got this cute pink long sleeve top from Los Angeles Apparel. Super cute. Just a cute little basic for summer and spring or spring summer, whatever. That's all I got. <laughs> My neighbors are turtles. Look how cute they are. Oh, look at it. So cute. So, should we try? Can you just try to Yeah. Come here, support. I don't know what's it called, but it's blue. It's on Broadway and 42nd Street. Come here, bro. Mmm. W. Rachel. Mmm. God bless us. It was only a dollar. Mm -hmm. Come here, y'all. Support her.
It's so hot, but it's good. Oh, look. Amazon pick up here. Oh, yeah, to pick up orders. You're having fun? Yeah. <laughs> We're just checking out the neighborhood. Oh, look, even breakfast. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait, how do you go in? I think you just go oh, in. Here? Wait. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Okay, this is cute. If I ever want to have like a little breakfast, you know, that's nice. Hola. Oh, it's food from 6:30 to two cash only. Oh, no, más estamos chequeando es que me moví por aquí por el por la 43. Estoy viendo qué hay. Desayunos en la mañana y la Oh, ok. Tortillas como ocho y media, nueve. Ajá. Y lo, lo que ves ahí, pues tortillas, masa. Ok. Sopes, cuando guste. Ok. No. Domingo y lunes. Ok, muchas. Ah. Oh, ok. Voy a venir un día de estos, ok. Gracias. Oh wow! That was Rachel. I want to get these. They're so cute. They're like little tiny you bows. Yeah, I'm going to get them. I wish they had white though. Oh, girl. I need one. You need one. You need a De Debbie. These come in handy. I'm telling you. Get one, bro. Wait, which vibe? What's your vibe? Tell me what. I think I'm going to do the... Look how cute the mirror is! It's like vintage! Oh, so cute! And even how- oh my god, guys, I'm only fascinated by this store. <laughs> Do you want something? Oh. Look, if you need stuff, you get 10 of these for a dollar. Oh. Okay, guys, so. I think I'm gonna get these little bows. I'm only getting this one for the white one, but I'm gonna get these ones too because they have all these colors. Just cute to put like on braids and stuff. Oh, it's okay, you can start to, what happened? Oh. You want one? Girl. Me and my sister are having so much fun right now. Just like just going around and just exploring my new city. It's so fun. Well, not my same city, LA, just new area. Should I get mango or piña? What do you think? Mango piña? Something fruity, huh? Yeah, something fruity, not... Should I get mango? Yeah. Oh, look at mine. 